What is going on, everyone? Welcome to another very exciting episode right here on the MI Gardener channel. This episode is going to be a little bit different from our normal content, but it's definitely going to save you a lot of money and probably put a lot of fears to rest about ticks. Now, it is, uh, I guess it's no mystery that it's tick season here in Michigan. And we've actually found quite a few, um, not only on myself, but uh, Aiden, who's manning the camera, and Aiden's dog. And so, uh, anytime we're out here in the garden, I always have this fear that like, what if, what if they're in our grass? Now, ticks do typically like taller grass, but they've been found in shorter grass as well. And I know for me, I just, you know, with Geneva and stuff playing around, I want the peace of mind to know that I'm not, uh, that I'm not going to come in contact with ticks. And if I do, I want to be able to take, uh, take care of them. So, um, Aiden, you ready to start this project? Yes, sir. All right. So the first thing we're going to need is we're going to need some, uh, some, uh, just string here, rope. I just got this at the hardware store. It's like, I think it's like three bucks for this. It's 50 feet, you don't need 50 feet, but you're gonna need some of that. You're gonna need a piece of PVC pipe because it needs to have a hole. Otherwise, you could use like a cardboard tube, but I like to have something that's pretty rigid. You could also use a dowel, but uh, you'll see why I like to have a, a hole through the, the center in a second. And then the last thing you're going to need uh, is a bed sheet. Now, uh, the lighter, the color, the better. This is like a cream color here, but white works great. You want something that you're just gonna be able to see the ticks on the material because ticks have burrs on their legs and that's how they latch onto fur or like your legs or your shoes, your clothes, stuff like that when you're walking through the grass. And so they use those burrs and they'll actually attach onto the, uh, to the fabric right here. So the other thing we're gonna use is just some tape to attach it, that way we don't have to um, we don't really have to do anything crazy. So uh, yeah, we're gonna get this all assembled here. All we have to do, it's very, very simple. Just take your string. No cuts needed on this, we won't even edit it. It's just that simple. But just take your string, put it right through the, uh, through the pipe here. Just keep going. Jeez, how long is this pipe? <laughs> there we go. Um, so grab that in for me, Aiden. There you go, <laughs> all right. <laughs> Also, side note, catch this fire. Hey, don't play with fire, you might get burned. Oh <laughs> Freshvictapparel.com, go check it out. We only got a few left. Uh, when they're sold out, they're gone forever, and then we bring back uh, another collection. So if you, wanna, if you wanna wear fire like me, go check it out. I'm not sure how many sizes we have left or how many different shirts we have left, but I'm loving it. All right, so basically it's this simple. Just basically take it on either end like this, and just enough to kind of you want to have, so if you can get this, Aiden, I got basically, you know, I want, I want to be able to drag this behind me about three or four feet. So you want about maybe that much or so. All right. And now it's the bed sheet. So, uh, the longer you go, the better, but also the longer you go, the crazier it can get. So some people, when they do a tick drag, they will simply take the sheet and they will, uh, they'll just unfold the whole thing, right? Seems really overkill to me. Plus we don't have that big of a yard. I don't need to cover that much space. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna half it. I'm just gonna fold it in half here. And uh, look at me, a guy that can fold a sheet. Wow, that's shocking. Um, if Mrs. and my gardener saw me, she'd be proud. <laughs> All right, so now what I'm gonna do, now that I got this folded over here, I'm just going to wrap it underneath and then we're gonna grab some tape and we're just gonna tape the underside so that this is, so this is uh, basically just secured to the pipe here. Um, so I'm gonna grab some tape and we'll get going. I don't have any tape lying around, so. Just something like that. Really something simple. You don't need to go overkill with it. Just making sure it's not gonna come undone on me. Okay, there we go. So now we're ready to rock. So basically it's as simple as this. You're gonna take your, you're gonna take your string here, and you're basically just gonna. Well, you're gonna follow me, Aiden. But we're just gonna drag this along the property, and um, make sure it's, make sure it's centered here. Actually, I might take a little tape and just make sure it's. I'm gonna tape it to the to the pole. Actually, now we can just take this and basically we just want to drag it. And obviously, I mean, it, depending on we're in the city, so I'm not expecting to find a lot, if any, but I mean, I've found two on me. I know Aiden's found, I mean, how many on you? Four? Four on Aiden. And then uh, when your dog was here, you, like five, right? So yeah, I mean, that was crazy. I mean, they're coming from someplace, but I just wanna make sure 
that they're not coming from here because the ticks are something you just don't mess around with. Um, I mean, like Lyme disease is not a joke. Um, I mean, it can really mess people up. So all we're doing is we're just, just dragging this. And then after about, like I said, about 500 feet or so, um, and you could check it sooner if you felt like you needed to, but just uh, all we're doing is just basically simulating um, someone walking by. And then, and then basically, once we're done, so like, let's just say that was 500 feet. It probably wasn't, but you take it and just flip it over here and you would see, it'd be very evident the ticks because you'd see, um, I mean, they'd be clinging onto the, to the fabric. And typically you'd find them up where it's the heaviest part here. They'd like actually like really grab on. So you typically find them up here, but I mean, there is not a nothing. Caught a lot of the little, little, uh, tree turds, whatever those things are called. I don't know what those things are called, but we're finding a lot of those. Um, but yeah, I mean, you're definitely not going to want to do this with, uh, with your wife's brand new bed sheets, but it's certainly the cheapest way of figuring out just how bad a problem is. Um, and also doing it at the time, the right time of year too. You, know, you don't want to do it in the fall because it's not really tick season in the fall and too early in the spring, they're not out yet. So you typically want to do it when it's prime tick season. And that really varies based on, based on your area. So, you know, I'm just doing this. And again, with the basic uh, premise of this is just to, to see how much is in your area. Um, and you might, you might be able to estimate then if you do say, let's say you do a quarter acre and your total property size is for, you know, just keeping math simple. Let's say your total property is an acre. Well, if you found say 10 ticks on that quarter acre, you could multiply that by four and say, okay, there's, there's about 40 ticks per acre. Um, just by basic math, basic population size. And you can kind of just check the population density that way. And then that way you can really understand how to, how to address it. You know, is it something where you just have to be mindful, do a tick check when you come inside, or do you have to spray? Do you have to call a professional? There's a lot of things you can do, but it just also gives you the peace of mind knowing that if you have kids or pets or even yourself, you're not going to be running, running into any of those nasty buggers. So, so far nothing, which is actually a really good sign, like I said, but you know, again, I didn't know what I was going to find and I just thought, Hey, this would be a really good video idea for, for anyone that might have acreage, might be out in the country, might have long grass. It's tick season. And I, you know, I personally, I've had, like I said, two on me, you know, Aiden's had a, like four on him and his dog has had like five. So I'm like, man, I just want to be a hundred percent sure that they're not, that they're not in the area. Um, but ooh, I thought that was one, <laughs> just a leaf. But you can see, I mean, like you're going to catch a bunch of stuff. There's going to be like a bunch of whatnot, but I thought that was a, I thought that was a tick at first, but it's just a leaf. So I'm happy to know that we don't have a tick problem, but this is also not like an end all be all. It's obviously always best to do a tick check, no matter what, even if you feel like you're in the city, you have short grass, if you've been finding ticks and you don't know where you're getting them from, it's best just to kind of give yourself a one, two check. Um, especially if you come inside, check your socks, especially cause that's a fabric, check your shoelaces. That's other fabric. They really like to cling to stuff that they can catch their burrs into. The human leg is not the most ideal to pick up ticks. Um, unless of course you're super hairy like me, but, uh, <laughs> but basically, I mean, the human leg's not the most ideal. So you're going to find them on those spots where there's lots of fabric. That's where they, that's where they're going to cling to. Um, and also, you know, if you are in a place that has a very big tick presence, um, you can use lots of other uh, care techniques. Um, you can spray your lawn with uh, diatomaceous earth. That's a very organic method, not 100% foolproof. Um, I personally, you know, if I if I had a, a big tick outbreak, I would leave it up to a professional. I probably wouldn't take care of it myself. If it was like one tick on my entire property that I found, I might even just ignore it. But if it was an outbreak, I'd call a professional um, and really just like like leave it up to them. Because again, ticks are something you just do not mess with. Lyme disease comes in a whole host of different ticks. You got deer ticks, dog ticks, uh, I think uh, Lone Star ticks. I, there's quite a few different ticks that I've been versed on over the past couple of weeks because everyone's talking about them. And so, uh, yeah, you just do not want to mess with them because especially there's some that are very, very, very small that you just don't even see. You wouldn't even know you have them until you start showing signs of Lyme disease. And Lyme disease, again, is just something you do not want to mess with. So um, that's how you do a tick drag. 
Uh, glad you guys got to come along with me. Thanks, Aiden, for manning the camera. And uh, again, if you wanna if you wanna wear some fire, go check out Fresh Picked Apparel. And um, yeah, don't play with fire; you might get burned. All right, I'll catch you guys later on the next Step My Gardener episode. Grow up, or go home, everyone, and uh, happy gardening. <laughs>